guys and welcome back to Project Monaco with me, Pug Gaming. I hope you are all well. Last time round we were working on this beautiful area of Monaco, the Lovato Beach. And well, I must say I was really really pleased with how this came out. It was a really fun part to build, very different to what we've done so far. Throwing in a beach area was really really fun and yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a really nice build to do. It came out pretty much as I had hoped. There's a few things that I would have done differently next time round. But all in all, I think it worked really, really nicely. And that brings us on to what we're going to work on today, which is slightly different to what we have done so far. And I know a few of you have requested this as the next episode, so let's get on with it. We're going to today spend the whole episode laying down the road network. Not all of it, the majority of it, so we can then pretty much start building up the population in Monaco because at the moment there's not enough people to be going around to really make this area pop. And as you can see from the map here, there's a lot of unique sort of roads. All the houses are squished together and pretty much worked around the terrain. So we're gonna try and replicate that as best we can, but the majority of that hard work and detail will be in the actual laying down of the buildings. But nonetheless, I want to get Monaco looking more like Monaco. I want to get the veins of this beautiful country down so we can really see how things are going to progress later on as well. Now firstly, a bit of background behind the network of the roads and how I'm going to do this. A lot of you are probably thinking, okay, well he's going to use the map overlay to lay down the roads. Well, in fact you're wrong. The reason I haven't been using the map, um, sorry, the overlay is because it's really difficult to find a suitable map that then fits your, your actual um, build itself. Um, I mean, the build, the, the, map, the map itself is a one-to-one -one scale, but some areas have been placed down slightly different to what it is in real life Monaco, and the reason for that is it's just the nature of the game. You can't get things down perfectly. You can't terrain form certain areas as it should be. So the way I've done this is probably a lot harder, and um, it'll probably show <laughs> during the video how um, much more difficult this was, but. I am pretty much using two monitors. One monitor has the game up, the other one has the map of Monaco. And I'll be honest, it was very interesting. It was a very difficult scenario to work alongside. I mean, I have been following um, map copying in that way for Monaco, for the buildings, for certain areas of the map, but not for the road network. And what makes things a bit more difficult is the fact that Monaco has a lot of underground networks as well. Um, I concentrated mostly on the overground um, road networks for this episode. And I'll be honest, as I started laying down the roads, it did become easier. The thing that I found difficult was when you worked on one section and then you decide to work on a road off of that area, off that network, that's when it proved difficult because trying to line up your eyesight from one screen to the other to try and work out what road you were working on and which one you need to do now. It did sometimes take a bit of um, adjustment, I guess, for the eyes to work out, okay, well, we've done that bit, this is the next bit. So that was difficult. And I mean, I could have possibly created a unique overlay just to show these roads, but I just felt it was gonna be easier and quicker to do it this way. And also it was nice to be able to free lay some roads down and you know use use what you have in your imagination to get these areas to work successfully now one thing i would suggest is if you are going to do something similar like this and you're recreating something um and you need to raid, load um, lay down some roads what i would suggest is try and take some focal points so for example as you can see here on this bend there's a, a unique sort of shape that's um, quite dominant to see um and I was using this as my reference point. I kept going back and forth to this. If I was trying to work on the next section of road that doesn't lead off of this particular um, this particular pathway, I would use that as my reference point and be like, okay, well, I can see that area. I've got to move up a slight bit, and oh, there, there it is. So it was kind of like that, a bit of, a bit of, um, it's almost like, it's not common sense, but you know, it's uh, using, your, using your, your brain a little bit more um, to try and make sure that worked out well for you. Now this episode is quite difficult to commentate, <laughs> I must say. Um, laying down roads, there's not a huge amount to say. Um, I could talk for every single road we're laying down, but that'd be rather boring. So I thought we'd take this opportunity to 
discuss a bit more about how Monaco is progressing and the plans to move it forward and maybe a little bit about when I think it may be finished. So this episode, as I say, is going to be all about laying down the road network. So we're going to lay down the majority of Monaco. Um, there's been a lot of questions asked already about are we going to be building outside Monaco because despite Monaco having its um, its border, there are buildings that carry on just past the border. So it's not like suddenly Monaco stops and there's a big empty space around it. Monaco carries into France and I think the answer to that is yes. I, I do want to build beyond or outside of Monaco because when you look at the Monaco area you don't just look at that central focus point you see everything around it and that's what i really loved about this build you have all of these beautiful little french buildings sort of villas on the top of the mountain cliffs um up in the hills and then you have the heavy bustle of monaco city um so i do want to add both of those for those people who are asking i do want to do that it's just going to be a case of how much we go into it might be a bit more of okay we'll just do a little bit of a scattering of these um, sort of villas on the hilltops rather than copying them like for like it's all going to go down to how the game is running as well at that point um, so that's going to be um, the answer to that I think we we do want to work on that but I think time will tell as to how much in particular we can work on that Another question that's asked very regularly is <laughs> regarding the Formula 1 track. Now I know the uh, Monaco Grand Prix is not too far away and it would have been perfect if I could have been at that stage to um, offer out the video of creating the Monaco Formula 1 track but realistically it's not going to be this year is it? Um, it could be a special edition that I throw out in a year's time but I'm hoping the project will be complete by then. But yes I am planning to recreate the Monaco Formula One scene um, and I've got an interesting plan on how that's going to present itself to you guys and I'm not going to tell you that now because I don't want to ruin the, the plans and the idea of how that video will take shape but it's going to be a very interesting one and if I can pull it off it probably will be one of my greatest um, YouTube videos, certainly cinematics that's for sure. Um, so that's going to be the plan, we will be working on the Formula One track and as you already know the Formula One track itself the road area has already been laid down. It was laid down many episodes ago. So it's now just a case of creating the Monaco backdrop and just building up the area and basically completed it really. Um, and talking of the Monaco backdrop, that's gonna lead us on to what's gonna become the next episode, um, which will be episode 23. That is gonna be purely an episode of building up the population. So my plan for that is going to be, okay, so we've got these road networks down. Well, we will have after this episode's finished. Um, and I want to then build up the whole of that area. And we're going to be doing it in a way that's not heavily detailed. I want to do it a bit more simplistic. One, because I don't think I'm going to be able to detail that heavily and get away with it. I think the game will probably combust on itself and <laughs> blow up of some description, either that or my... PC itself will just give up hope of living any further so we're not going to go to an extreme high level of detail there may be a few areas that I particularly like the look of that will become its own independent episode but the majority of the majority of the buildings beyond the main areas will be less detailed it will obviously be a lot of tackling the terrain using our methods of you know adapting that to make it look realistic but I'm not going to be going there and detailing every segment like for like. It's just going to be a backdrop for the focal areas I've been working on in Monaco. But I still want to manage that in a way that you can still look from the game and be like, okay, I know that that building's meant to be that building. So it's going to be a, an, an adjustment for me. We're going to have to jump out of the detailing mode and jump into the, um, well, realistic and... Uh, manageable safe mode I guess for City Skylines so that's the plan for that moving forward there's a lot of other ideas I've got there's a lot of areas that we still have to build on which are really really exciting and uh, a few of those ideas that I have are are firstly doing some transportation we need to do a bit of bus routes we need to add the train station in there 
I want to do a bit of construction area work as well. Monaco is always full of construction and I really do love a construction site. So I really want to work on something like that. There's these beautiful Mo uh, Monaco offices as well. There is a lot, a lot to do still in Monaco and a lot of detailed areas as well that I really want to work on. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what my plan is moving forward. I don't want to ruin it and say what we're going to be working on next, but um, I've had a lot of nice comments from you guys and bits that you want to see. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what do you want to see next in terms of a detailed build in Monaco? Is there certain areas that you've visited? Is there certain areas that you want me to work on sooner or later? There's been a lot of demand for the train station and the Monaco football stadium. So they are certainly going to be done at some point very soon. But let me know in the comment section below what you want me to be work working on next. And whilst you do that, I'm going to have a quick little break, have a sip of my tea, and I'll catch you again in a second. And we are back. So as you can see, things are really starting to shape up now. Um, the only thing that's difficult to do at this stage, even though we're laying down the network of the roads, it's really difficult to get the terrain height correct because that's all gonna go down to the buildings we place down. Um, so on that note, I'm not too fussed about um, getting the road terrain and the height level correct at this moment. I just want to get the network of the roads down, which then means I know where the building is going to be placed in between the roads. And then we can use that to our advantage later to raise the roads around. And that's something I've realized that is going to have to be done during the build. We can't do that prior. It'd be nice to, but I guarantee if I did do that, I would still be adjusting a lot of the height terrain to make the landscape look like it should do. Now, as I record this particular episode, I have already spent many, many hours working on the next one. Now, the next one will be an interesting one because I've actually been doing a lot of the build during my live streams on both YouTube and Twitch. So if you've missed that, make sure you're following me on both of those platforms because I stream on both at the moment. Um, and I've been spending a lot of time speaking to you guys, which has been really, really useful, really fun as well. It's um, always nice to get direct feedback and just to have a chat with you guys, because I know 
a lot of you enjoy the videos and uh, have other questions that perhaps it's um, difficult to write down in the comments section. So it's nice to have that ability to talk to you. And also there's been a lot of times recently where you guys have really helped me work on certain areas and improve it and make it look more realistic from your ideas. Um, so yeah, basically the next episode is gonna be an interesting one. And the way I say that, or the reason why I say that is because I'm not actually recording the footage. Um, you can watch um, the footage of how I do so um, later on in the VODs of the live stream, but my plan for the way of building up the population is, in my eyes firstly, it's gonna be quite boring to see repetition of this area's being built up. There's gonna be certain things and certain areas that I'm thinking to myself, okay, well that'll be quite a fun episode to do. Even if we're not doing it highly detailed, it'll still be fun to work on. So that's how I'm sort of presenting this. There'll be a lot of edit, um, well, a lot of parts that will be built off of camera. And when I say off camera, it will be more likely on a live stream, or I will do it off camera. And then my plan to progress that and show you guys what has been done is we'll do a sort of before and after um, cinematic shot to show you the progress we've made and I can discuss the sort of difficulties that I had in doing so. So I'm guessing it'll be more of a recap episode when we're, when we're going to be building up the population rather than watch me build it bit by bit and I think that'll work better for those particular episodes. Obviously that's not going to be the case when we work on the, um, the more detailed and unique sections of Monaco. We'll be doing the standard way of how we've done every other episode but the population needs to be built up. It's gonna be quite a boring and mundane way of doing so, um, especially for a, a video. It's not too bad live stream because we can have a chat <laughs> along the way and um, it's you know a little bit different. We can discuss ideas. So that's the sort of plan moving forward on the episodes. As I say, we are, well, we're getting, we're getting into Monaco now. Um, I think in a few episodes, this the episodes time, you'll be thinking to yourself, okay, that seems like we made a lot of progress because if I'm looking at my game now, I can see that we have done a lot. Things are really starting to shape up. Um, the population in, in a few episodes time will be a lot more than what you're seeing now on the screen, which is perfect. That's what we've been aiming for. Um, and that just brings in the hustle and bustle of Monaco. It makes the game more realistic because We've got people there, we've got a lot more cars driving around. A lot of my cinematics at the moment have been quite hard to do because there's not enough people around. We've been doing, we've been doing a lot of um, procedural objects and um, buildings, dropping buildings, plopping buildings that don't actually generate people or any sort of interest in people coming to that section of the area. So once we've got these buildings down, we should be on a very different scale, certainly when it comes to doing cinematics. And talking of cinematics, we are very close to releasing an episode um, which will be an, a cinematic overview of Monaco so far. So it's gonna be con commentary less, there'll be no commentary on there. Um, and it's just gonna be a pan around of what we've done so far um, in Monaco. So that'll be coming up very shortly as well. Uh, that'll be a future episode. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So hopefully it didn't bore you in today's episode. Like I say, it's a very different one. I thought I'd take the opportunity to discuss my thoughts and feelings on Monaco and how things are progressing. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope they gave that a, gave you all an insight on what we are planning to do and the way forward for Monaco. I would really enjoy hearing your feedback. Now you've heard my feedback. <laughs> um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as I said, if you're not already a follower of my um, Twitter or Twitch, or if you're not subscribed on YouTube, here's your opportunity to do so. Um, a lot of Feedback has been presented both on Twitter and on my Discord channel. So if you're not a member of the Discord, hit the link below. You can get an opportunity to come and talk to me directly as well, private, one-on-one. -on -one. I'm more than happy to answer your questions, whether it's about the series or whether it's a problem that you have in the game. I'm more than happy to offer out any support that I can. Um, and yeah, I'm guessing I'm starting to ramble on a bit now. Let's, um, let's leave it at that. Let me leave you with some cinematics of the whole of this area that we've worked on today. And as I say, if you like the video, please hit that like button. It's a great way for you guys of showing your support and getting the video a lot more attention. Other than that, guys, have a great weekend and I'll catch you again very shortly, whether it's in a video or it's in my live stream. Thanks for watching and all the best.